You've been told that to get rich, you needed to invest in real estate or even in the stock market. Maybe you're currently feeling stuck, you're in university, or you're working a dead-end job, and you dream of a life of true freedom and abundance. Now, technically speaking, literally anyone can become rich. All you would need to do is to invest some money every month in the stock market, and it would only take you a couple hours a month to review your investments. And if you do that, you'd earn passive income from your investments. How amazing does it sound? Well, you see, the people who say that, they're not actually telling you the entire truth. The stock market's historical average return on investment is 10% a year. This means that it would take you at least 25 years to go from $100,000 all the way up to a million dollars. And I don't know about you, but back when I was broke, I definitely didn't have a hundred grand to invest. I personally went from being a broke, depressed guy, to now running a profitable online business and loving my life. And I'm in my early 20s, so that goes to show you I didn't achieve this through investing passively in the stock market. Because you see, that's what the popular financial advisors don't tell you. You can get rich with investing, of course. However, it's going to take you 25 to 30 years to do so. And I don't personally know about you, but my goal is not to become the richest man of the graveyard. My goal is to enjoy my life. Your 20s and your 30s are infinitely more valuable than your 60s and then your 70s, simply because you can do so much more stuff. So in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what you can do to finally obtain financial independence and be able to quit your job and live the sort of life that you've always wanted. So if you don't care about improving your life, making more money, and becoming free, if you prefer to play the blame game and to act like a victim, then you can click off this video right now because it's not going to help you. Otherwise, pay close attention to what I'm going to reveal. Now, the first thing that you really need to understand is that you're not actually going to become rich by investing. At least for most people, it is not going to be the case. However, what is guaranteed to make you very wealthy on the other hand, it is to provide value to other people. You know when people say that they want to make more money? Technically speaking, that assumption is not correct because only the banks can make money. They can print it out of thin air since now it is not pegged to gold anymore. You can only earn money. And to do that, you need to convince someone else, another human being, somebody who has pains, desires, and needs to exchange some of their hard-earned money for something of value that you have to offer. But not only that, the price that the person is willing to pay for has to be lower than the perceived value that they will get in exchange. To give you a very basic example, let's say you went to the supermarket, you wanted to buy some apples, and now you see the apple is sold for $500. Are you going to buy some apples now? It wouldn't make sense, because as you can see, the price tag is way too high compared to the value that you are going to be receiving. And providing value to other people is the exact reason why somebody who spends all day playing video games, watching Netflix, or simply entertaining themselves, they're broke, they don't make any money. The reason being, they're not providing any tangible value to anybody else, so they don't get the reward that come with providing value. So now you might ask, well, how can I provide value to other people and get paid for it? We'll come back to that in just a minute. Because the truth is that you have been misled. The sad reality is that investing in the stock market or in real estate was not intended to make the average person rich. You need to understand that in our society, everything is literally made to keep you where you are. The elites, quite frankly, they couldn't care less about you and I. And if you don't believe me, just take a look at the international education system. Unlike some people might think, schools were not built to educate people, to educate the masses. That's the lie that they sold to parents to convince them to send their kids to school. The real reason why schools were built, it was to manufacture good, hardworking employees that would be good taxpayers. That is literally it. Now, let me ask you a question. Who benefits from inflation? Is it the middle class? Is it the poor? Of course not. The people who benefit from inflation are asset owners. And the more assets they own, the more they will benefit from inflation. Why? Think about it. If prices are going to increase due to inflation, then all they need to do is to hold on to their assets and they will become even richer. And that's how somebody can buy a house for $100,000 and fast forward in the future, it's now worth a million dollars. Now you need to understand that smart investors never just follow the crowd blindly. When everyone is buying, they're selling. And the opposite is also true. When everyone is selling, they're buying. And usually that's how they're able to acquire assets for the price of a loaf of bread. They take advantage of crises. Now online, you're going to hear some people tell you that you can invest in real estate with no down payments, that it's the best way to reach financial independence and financial freedom. Please don't believe everything you hear. I mean, sure, if you want to take the slow, difficult route to get rich, then go invest in real estate. But what you fail to realize is that you are going to be competing with the top dogs in the industry. This means that you are going to be competing with companies and corporations that have billions of dollars to invest in real estate, while you, you're starting from rock bottom. 
unlike what popular influencers tell you, investing in real estate is a full-time job. Don't expect that just by doing it a couple hours a month on the side, you'll become a multi-millionaire with barely any hard work. If it sounds too good to be true, it usually is. Truth is, investing in things like real estate or the stock market will only make sense once you start to actually become wealthy, once you make more money. Why? Because you need to secure your assets once you have money. Think about this. If you only have money sitting in a bank account, you have $100,000, you have a million dollars just laying there in the bank account, with inflation year after year, your buying power is going to go down. The money that you have is now worth less. And the way to counteract this, to avoid the negative effects of inflation, is to invest your money. But you know in business, there's this saying, what gets you to $10,000 a month will not get you to a million dollars a month. And what this means is that to reach a certain level, you'll need to do certain things. But to reach another level, you'll need to do other things, things that you're not used to doing. What makes rich people richer is not going to help the average person become rich because it's a completely different game. Making more money when you have money is infinitely easier than getting from zero to $10,000 a month. That is the hardest part. Now, back when I was still in high school with my best friend at the time, I decided to open up a Shopify store. That was back when dropshipping was at its peak and every online influencer was talking about it and making countless videos on the topic. Everyone said it was the best online business model because after all, you could start with only a few hundred dollars, you didn't have to show your face and it was easy or so they said. So we built a Shopify store and we were selling some kind of a mop for $50. It was a summer evening and I launched the Facebook ads campaign. I got dinner and then within 30 minutes, we got our first sale. So I come back to my room after dinner, I check my notifications on WhatsApp and I have like dozens of notifications. So I wonder, well, what's going on? And it was my best friend messaging me. He was going full blown crazy because we had gotten our first sale ever. And to me, it was crazy. I mean, we just launched an ad campaign 30 minutes ago and we got $50. Obviously, it's not life-changing money. But to me, what it did is that it made me realize you can actually really make money online. It is possible. Because before, I had only ever watched videos from people on YouTube or on Instagram, and I had seen them become successful, making money, enjoying life, traveling. But me, I was still in my room, well, watching those videos. So I still had this voice in the back of my head that told me, what if I can't do it? What if they can, but you know, it's not for me? What if it's too good to be true? What if it's all a scam? I had this skepticism. But when I saw the money on my dashboard staring at me, I really fully realized it is possible. Now, at the time, I was seriously struggling with shiny object syndrome. I was constantly jumping from one idea to the next and from one business model to the next because I didn't even know what path to follow. But each business that I started over the next few years following my first ever online sale, although they turned out to be failures, they still taught me insanely valuable lessons that always helped me to make the next business better and better and better up until I stumbled upon consulting. We'll come back to that in just a few seconds. But the truth is that from a very young age, I understood that I needed to start my own online business to obtain a true location, time, and financial freedom. Because I knew it was possible to become a CEO, a CFO, a CEO, and to make six figures a year. You'd get to drive a nice car, work in a nice fancy office, but you would work 80 to 90 hours a week. In reality, you'd still have a boss. You wouldn't really have any time for your hobbies, for your friends, for your family. So I knew, okay, that's great, but I don't only want the money, I want the freedom as well. And I don't want to have a boss, someone telling me what to do when they couldn't care less about me. And compared to a brick and mortar business, online businesses have so many advantages. Just think recently during the recent lockdowns, how many small businesses had to declare bankruptcy? People were stuck at home, they couldn't go out, so plenty of gyms, of restaurants, of hair salons had to shut down their doors. It's only the big massive corporations or the businesses who were clever enough to adapt to a changing market that were able to thrive. But most online businesses saw their skills completely go through the roof during the recent lockdowns. And if you think about it, it makes complete sense. People were stuck at home, so on the internet, they were using their tablets, their phones, their computers. And I'm guessing since a lot of people were bored, they were more inclined to purchase things to get that quick, easy rush of dopamine. Now, you still need to be very careful when picking your business model. This is literally the most crucial step before you start a business. You need to figure out which business to start. Yet, most people completely mess this up. So without even realizing it, because they choose the wrong business model, they're setting themselves up for failure. And that is exactly what I did with my best friend a couple years back when I started a dropshipping business. We didn't realize how many costs were involved. We barely knew anything about paid advertising. We were not expecting that Facebook ads would ban our ad accounts constantly for no reason, that they would quickly eat up all of our budget. We couldn't see those things coming. So at the time, I really wished there had been a video on the internet analyzing every popular online business model to show me which one is the best to start. So if you are a beginner, you're looking to start a business, but you have no clue what to do, I have recorded a free video in 
which I'm going to analyze every popular online business model. Together, we'll take a look at the pros, at the cons, and I'm also going to share with you for completely free the three-step process that you can start using today to start your business and to get your first customers as soon as possible. The link is in the description below. Now, no matter which business model you decide to pick in the end, you need to understand that it's always going to fail unless you give people what they actually want. And that is why I don't recommend that for most people, they start a business based on what they love, around their passion. Because if your passion is the only thing that you take into consideration when starting your business, trust me when I say that you're shooting yourself in the foot. Because you need to understand that business is about people. Business is not about you. Out of all of the successful people I have learned from, none of them ever became successful until they started to give people what they were asking for. As long as they were stuck trying to figure out what people wanted, but in reality, they didn't need. They barely saw any success. Now, how do you find what people want? There are a few ways you can go about this. You can ask your prospects what they want, and that is why having sales calls is amazing, because you'll get to have a conversation directly with a potential customer. You'll get to understand their pains, their needs, their desires, what goes on in their mind, what keeps them up at night. It is a great tool, a very powerful tool to help you understand your target market. And then the other way to see if something is working, if there is a demand for it, is to simply see, are there any competitors in the same industry doing the same thing, and are they able to make six or even seven figures a year doing that? So bottom line, investing in the stock market or in real estate or even in other things will start making sense once you start to make some serious money with an online business. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you have a business? Are you looking to start one? And with that said, I will see you in the next one.